Netflix's adaption of The Sandman is full of Easter eggs and references to the stories that inspired it. Naturally, this includes a number of nods to the DC Comics universe, which the Sandman books were originally set in before becoming a universe unto themselves. Yet there are also a number of visual and literary Easter eggs involving minor characters and concepts that didn't merit lengthy exposition or formal introductions. The importance of the Sandman to modern literature cannot be understated. Considered to be the first great work of Neil Gaiman, who also wrote American Gods and co-wrote Good Omens with Terry Pratchett, The Sandman was one of the first graphic novel series aimed at mature readers to push the idea of comics being capable of more than simple superhero stories. It went on to win multiple awards, including the World Fantasy Award for Best Short Story, despite the protests of many at the time that a mere comic book should not be considered for something so prestigious. The new Netflix series is a perfect distillation of the source material. Much of Gaiman's original dialogue and the aesthetics of the many artists who brought the world of the Sandman to life over the years have been woven into the fabric of the show. Here is a rundown of all the Easter eggs and references in the Sandman Season 1.